Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am back to do a little short review as well as just kind of play around with um, this happy jig. Um, I picked this up from Joanne and I did share it in um, my last haul. And this was $14.99 I believe because um, it was 40% off. Yeah, I think it was 40% off when I picked it up or either I used a 40% off coupon. I can't remember which one, but I believe I paid $14.99 for it. Um, I really wanted this after seeing it on um, Marilyn G's channel. And I also know that Tammy, SS Crafter 1, um, has this as well. But I was very curious to see. First off, I love the fact that you can make like little wired words and different things like that with it. But what I wanted to see was if I could use it to uh, make like little pipe cleaner words. And if you guys remember, I did share this little pipe cleaner word that I made. And I just kind of twisted it up um, by hand to try to make this word hello. But um, that was before I actually picked up the happy jig. So um, I am pleased to announce. Well, first off, let me go back and say a very special thank you to Marilyn G. I asked her a question when she shared hers um, I wanted to know if you can actually use pipe cleaner to make these little words and different shapes and stuff like that so she did do a video and I will link it down below she made the cutest primitive hearts with it and I'm gonna try to make those as well but um, I ended up trying to make the words and I'll share with you guys what my words came out looking like so this one is the word happy really cute I love using these pipe cleaners because it really makes the word kind of stand out and I think those would be really cute to use like on a layout or a um, a uh, scrapbook page or which is the same thing as a layout right or a uh, like a little um, uh, book for like my baby for my uh, grandbaby so I, I just thought that this was really cute so that is the word happy um, I also made the word hello. I really love the way this came out. And this is the word hello. Really, really cute. I think it came out so pretty. And I picked up my pipe cleaner from um, Michaels. And it is the, I believe this is Michaels. And it's the Creatology brand. And it's the Chanel pipe cleaners. And they come in all these very pretty springy light colors. And there's a hundred in a pack. And I believe... I probably paid um, four dollars for this maybe I'm not exactly sure because I purchased it a, a little while ago um, I also made the little butterfly that you can make and let's see if I made anything else um, I think that's about it that's all I made because the rest of them I made by hand so I wanted to give you guys a little review and a little tutorial on the happy jig and so um, I've already opened mine so I'll just take it out of the package and what you get in here is you get the actual happy jig you also get this instruction book and the instruction books have you know your instructions and then it has a bunch of different patterns that you can do and I've also heard that online there's other patterns that you can make as well um, it also has these three um, wires down here and from what I heard, um, the floral wire from the Dollar Tree, you could use that as well. So I'm going to try that out because I do have some somewhere around here. So I need to find out where mine is. If not, I'll probably just pick up some more at the Dollar Tree. But it does come with this wire and um, the wire cutters as well. So I stuck my wire cutters down inside of here. Um, they're right here. But when you purchase it, they'll be right on top, right in this little area right here so let me just put this to the side for a moment so inside of the um, happy jig you have these larger pegs you have a medium sized peg and then you have the smallest peg you also have what they call the starter pegs and these have the little like slices going through them and what that does is it holds your wire and it allows you to start your project so the instruction book tells you um, which pegs to use for which project whichever project you're working on and it also shows you how to make whatever 
um, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it shows you how to make whatever um, project you have into like a paper clip. So if you see here, this gold part is technically like your paper clip area if you wanted to make this a paper clip. If you don't want to make this a paper clip, then you don't use um, this M21. Um, which would make that a paper clip. You only use the M16, which the M16 is going to be your starter peg, I believe. Um, yeah, it's going to be your starter peg. So anything that's in, I'm going to bring the book up pretty close. Anything that's in that teal color, I'm trying to make sure you can see it. In that teal color, that is your starter peg. The gold color would be if you're making this a paper clip. All of the other colors are um, whichever peg you have. So say for instance, if, let me take it down a little bit. Sorry guys. Let me try to focus, focus, focus. Okay, so say for instance, I'm sorry guys. Say for instance, if you were using the larger peg, so that's small, medium, and large. If you were using the larger peg, which is right here, then you would put the larger peg in the positions of E16, E26, G13, and G29. You're gonna put that starter peg in M16, and then if you're gonna make it a paper clip, then you use M21. Then you're gonna use your tinier peg, and you're gonna go into D13, D29, G21, and Q21, okay? So, I will share with you guys how to make this heart because it's probably the easier one to make. Um, so like it said, it, you, you're gonna need four of these. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find E, E right here, E, and then you're gonna go over to 16. So you go over to 16, which is right there. And then you're going to put your peg right there. Now, I will say, um, it's a little bit difficult to see at times. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. The next one is going to be E. And you're going to go over to 26. Which is right there. Yep, right there. And I press it down pretty hard inside of the little slots so that you'll make sure that it's secure. So then the next one is gonna be G. So you go down to G, and you're gonna go over to 13. And you're gonna put the peg in there, and then you're gonna go G29. So same line, G, and you're gonna find your 29, which is right there. And I'm just gonna put it right there and then the next one is going to be m16 but it is a teal color so you're going to use the one with the slot and we're going to put that in m and we're going to go over to 16 so that's m16 then we're going to go to d 31 uh, let's see. I'm sorry, D13. <laughs> so we're going to find D and we're going to go over to 13, which is right here. Okay. And then we're going to go D29. So that is going to be right here. And then we're going to go G21, so G, uh, 21, and then we're going to go Q21, so Q, and then 21 is right here. And so that is all of our pegs in place. If you can see here in my book, this is how it should look here. And this is how it looks right here. The only thing that's missing is, which one is missing? I believe this one right here is missing. And that's what makes it a paper clip. 
So then you would take your wire and you would just start here at the starter and wrap your wire around in the same direction that they're showing. But instead of me using a wire, I'm going to try to use my pipe cleaner. And I'm trying to remember if the pipe cleaner was long enough. I can't remember if it was long enough to make the heart or not. If your pipe cleaner is not long enough, um, all you have to do is just take another pipe cleaner and I'm gonna take a piece of one that I have already that I cut because I have a bunch of like little pieces inside of here. So I'll take one that I've already cut just to be on the safe side. And what I do is I just take the two ends and I just twist them together so that I make a longer um, pipe cleaner, okay? So then I'm just going to start wrapping. So I'm gonna start with the end that I didn't twist together just to see if maybe it'll, it'll work. So I'm gonna start here, which is in my starter peg right here. And then I'm going to wrap around here. I'm gonna wrap here around my middle peg come back around the heart and then I'm going to wrap back to this one right here. So it looks like I would have had enough. So I'm just gonna kind of untwist this wire here. So I don't need all of this extra wire. So I do have enough. So I'm just gonna wrap it around there and then I'm going to wrap it here. So it, that's technically my heart. So all you do then is you just kind of pry your piece off of your little happy jig and then you're going to if you're using pipe cleaner you're going to join your ends together and I found that um, you can use scissors if you have strong enough scissors but it does come with these um, pliers and I'll just snip it off and it works really really easy um, and then you just have to kind of shape it back in place because when you take it off and I'm not sure if, it, if it's the same with the um, with the wire, but it does kind of um, get out of shape a bit. So you could um, you could put it back on there and kind of try to shape it, or you can just shape it by hand, and you know, and then you have it for your little project. So that is my little crazy looking heart. So that is one way of using the little pipe cleaner. Um, I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to twist up um, the word hello, but I wanna go ahead and put the pegs in first. But before I do that, let me show you guys how to get the pegs out. So um, you would turn your happy jig over. And what I did was I, used, I, I closed my pliers, I closed them up, and then I used the back of my pliers to push these out because Sometimes these are very strong and they don't want to just pull out. So I find that using the back of my pliers, I can just pop them out and they pop out easily. And then I can just put them all back inside of my little container, little storage area on top of my happy jig. So I'm gonna come back after I get all the pieces in for the word hello. And I'll show you guys what that looks like because there's way more pegs for that one. And then I will just show you guys how to wrap the hello. So this is the hello. And these are the pegs that you need for the hello. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, as you can see, I have put in all of my little pegs like the direction show right here. And as the picture looks right here. And so I have them all on my little happy jig. So now what we could do is we could start wrapping. So you start at this area right here where there is this slotted one and that is in the position of L11. So you're gonna start there and then you're just gonna wrap the way that the um, diagram is showing you. So I'm just gonna start here and it looks like it's going up down and it's going here and up and 
down and all I'm doing is just kind of following the design in the book um, looks like this one's going up this one is going up uh oh so it looks like I'm going to actually need to put another so here let me start again because I'm gonna need to to add a pipe cleaner to this I thought I could do just do it with one but it looks like I need a little bit longer strand so again I'm just gonna take one pipe cleaner and just join it to the next and if you were using um, wire you wouldn't have to do all of this but I just think it's prettier using the pipe cleaner so I'm gonna start again I'm gonna start here and go up and down uh -oh. and that you don't want to do you don't want your pegs to come out um, so that was probably in and maybe that was in 14 yeah so you want to make sure that they're secure down inside your board just kind of press them down until you kind of hear them click and then that way you know that they're in there good We'll start again and I'm, I'm doing it kind of tight but not too tight because I noticed that when you do it too tight the um, these uh, pigs want to kind of try to snap out of place and I don't want them to come out of place And like I said, I haven't used the um, I haven't used the wire yet, so I'm not exactly sure how the wire reacts. But I know that this pipe cleaner kind of reacts um, a little differently, and so like it's already trying to pop up off of there. But what you would do is just kind of pry it off of your pegs, and then what I do is I kind of squeeze it a bit to make sure that it kind of stays in place and if I was using this you know it would I would put this on a project and I just snip it right there and that is your word hello but you know for this one I did have to join two pipe cleaners together and then you know you would take that and see if you wanted to put it on this piece of paper then I would just glue it down hot glue it down and you can make this a tag or make it a card or what have you but you know just hot glue it down and make sure that your letters are the way that you want them to be and I just think it makes a really really cute embellishment so I like it um, like I said I picked up mine from Joanne I'm pretty sure that they have it on Amazon as well so just in case you guys don't have a Joanne nearby I will link my Amazon store down below and I will try to link the happy jig to the store so that you you know you're able to just go ahead and click on that and order it if that's what you want to do but that is about it guys that is um, how you use the pipe cleaner on the happy jig and I like it and like I said online they do have other um, designs and patterns and I'm sure you can make up your own kind of like how Marilyn did with making up her primitive heart I mean, you could just kind of look at it and judge where you need to put the pegs in order to do whatever it is that you desire to do. So it's really, really cute. I like it and I will link it down below. So that is about it, guys. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.